Vivian Sapanta today. I have a special guest, Sneha. She is a, uh, she wears many things in her head as a hat. She's a personal trainer, she's a nutritional coach. She's also starting to become a Pilates instructor. And I was asking her a special question that concerned me, particularly me. Uh, as I was driving along uh, BF Homes, I saw so many dialysis centers around this place. I said, what is happening? How come there's so many dialysis places around this neighborhood, even in Ayala? I said, why is there so many demand for this kind of place? So maybe there are so many people with kidney problems, renal problems, and for me particularly, personally, I'm very concerned about that because I have a kidney condition when I was about age seven and I had nephritis, I almost died because of that. And then my grandson was born with a very, um, very bad kidney, so one of them was removed after he was one year old. So living with one kidney is a concern, right? And for those uh, elderly folks, with also one kidney or with renal problems, that's a big concern too. What do they do? What can we do to elongate the health of the kidneys of these people, especially those we really truly love? So Sneha, can you share your expertise on this? Yeah, so uh, what I want to share about, the, about this about the related to So to repeat and recap what Sneha said was to avoid animal fat or animal protein because it takes a toll on the kidneys, right? Yeah. It's very hard to filtrate these things. And especially if you have one kidney. Especially if you have only one kidney. We want to elongate the health and the functionality of that kidney. And you also mentioned about Avoiding sugar, yeah. sugar and the acids. So sugar, minimize sugar because sugar it turns into acid, salt, salt, sugar, and more acidic foods like the cheese. So if I am in that situation, what else can I do? <laughs> so the solution that was really very nice was to add yeah just to just add a little more of in every every kind of your like every meal you just add a little bit of cheese or fruits and a little bit of grain pasta you can add and, oh. and you drink lots of water. Now, imagine pasta has less acidity than rice. Yeah that's what we surprised <laughs> that surprised me too. So anyway if you need more of this uh, information, we would be glad to share them with you one time when we can set up a Zoom call and everybody can listen and so you can help those people that you love and cherish to elongate the longevity and functionality and health of those kids. Alright, thank you Sneha for joining me. Thanks guys.